Camcorder Cameron here. I am the Terminator. <laughs> Today I'm going to be watching T2 for the very first time. This came out in 1991 and I'm so excited because you guys tell me it's the best sequel ever. So we'll see if you're right about that. Yeah, more tires rolling over skulls. Okay, where's John Connor at? The second was set to strike at John himself when he was still a child. That is John. Man, he's seen some things. The resistance was able to send a lone warrior, a protector for John. It was just a question of which one of them would reach him first. Mama Bear is the protector. What do you mean, girl? I loved riding on those little sporing animals. Kind of outdated. It's not every day you see those on a playground anymore. Oh my god, I wonder if there's kid Terminators. Not that they were like born, but just like built to be little little tiny kids in Terminator form. The Terminator! That's him, and this is my song. I don't think I'm good at singing it, but I like it. Yes! That was a cool intro. That means somebody's time traveling. Ooh, we got some cool effects. Now that is cool. He melted the truck with his naked raw power. As sculpted as ever. <laughs> naked man walks into the bar, what do you do? I would leave the bar, honestly. <laughs> He's just too hot to be afraid of, I guess. Match. Ooh. I need your clothes. Your oh, it's like his size match. You forgot to say please. Man like that doesn't have to say please. Oh my god, what the heck? Who does that? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was cool. They are taking the action up to 10 this movie. Pull it out! Pull it out. <laughs> They're withholding the booty from me this time. Why? Now, 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 now. Mm-hmm. Break me off a piece of that. b b b b b bad I'm good at singing this song. Yeah. na 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 Before I am gone. Ba -na 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 -na. I'm gonna be yours, pretty baby. Ba -na 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 -na. Yours and yours alone. Ah! He is so bad. Oh. I want him as a Barbie. Who's this? Okay. So we get to see his butt, but not Schwarzenegger butt? What the heck? Oh, John is a baby. John? He's a teeny bopper. Your foster parents are kind of dicks, huh? Wait, what happened to Sarah? I think that kid might be cooler than me. Is this Sarah? In the psych ward. Because they never want to believe women, do they? This she's been biding her time getting fit. Father of her child was a soldier sent back to protect her. And is that reason enough to take her son away? No. I know she would have been a great mother. Maybe she has like PTSD now. Good morning, Dr. Silverman. Oh my God! How's the knee? She looks so good. Fine, Sarah. She, uh, stabbed me in the kneecap. What'd you do to deserve that? Repeated escape attempts. Uh, she doesn't belong there. That's why she's trying to escape. Obvi. No. I wouldn't worry about him. That guy is pretty scary. And I haven't even seen him do anything that bad yet. It's just his demeanor. Very cold. In number. Oh my god, he's a techie. Withdraw three zero zero. Bucks. Only 300? How juvenile. <laughs> that her? Yes. She's a complete psycho. There's nothing wrong with being crazy, dude. The best of us are. She tried to blow up the computer factory. She got shot and arrested. She's a total loser. I'm surprised a guy like him doesn't look up to her. Looks like he wants trouble. She may be crazy, but at least she's smoking hot and in shape. What? It's real. I know the date it happens. Why are they making her watch her own mental breakdowns? Because I know it happens! It happens! 
I would be that mad too if I was telling everybody the truth and they locked me up for it and called me crazy. Mm. And if only she channeled, you know, all of those words into, say, like, book writing and releasing that to the public, I feel like she could find her crowd of believers that way. Going to authority figures, not the best choice. They're never going to believe you as a woman. She should have an alias and write fiction. Those Terminator machines. Now you think they don't exist. Uh, because you guys are making her. But you've told me on many occasions about how you crushed one in a The only way she can get out and see her son again, y'all. So why are they calling her crazy if some scientists have a Terminator hand in their lab? Like, that's some hard evidence. And I think you're just telling me what I want to hear. I don't think you really believe what you're telling me today. There is no winning with you guys. You have to let me see my son. It is not right. Please. That is so messed up. If I could just make a phone call. Afraid not. Not for a while. That is really, really messed up. <laughs> That's what happened when you won't let a woman see her child, mister. And this is the result of a, a motherless son, okay? He's riding around a dirt bike with no helmets, breaking into ATMs. Hey, do you know this guy? Nah, I don't know. That's a good friend right there. <laughs> I don't think there is a gift inside that box. <laughs> yeah, it ain't roses. Oh my god, he looks so good. I could just swoon this whole movie. Terminator versus Terminator! Ooh, you can see the metal underneath. That's cool. Oh, he can heal. Whoa. So this movie, the bad guy is the good guy. It's like, oh, these mannequins look a lot like me. This is why you don't rob ATMs, kids. Oh, yeah, he really don't care. He really doesn't. Move! Move, child! Mm, we'd love a sexy that wants to protect children. So I really wonder um, why the Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator has switched sides. Because in the last movie, he wanted to prevent John Connor from ever being born. And he failed that mission. So now he wants to save John Connor? What happened, dude? What made you switch sides? Is this just a different Terminator in the same body? Ooh! And you know that's a practical effect. Probably a stunt double. Ooh! Close call. <laughs> Ooh. Nice! Explosions are nothing to the Terminator body. If I was that little boy, I'd be crying, sobbing. He's fine. There he is. Wow, he's not a stop motion figure anymore. He's computerized. I can't wait for him and his mom to reunite. Now don't take this the wrong way, but you are a Terminator, right? Yes. How does he know? From his mom he called crazy? 35 years from now, you reprogrammed me to be your protector here. Reprogrammed, okay. <laughs> Surprised that kid didn't already know how to do that. If you hurry home, we can sit down and have dinner together. I'm making... Oh, she's so sweet. That means she's gonna die. Wolfie's fine, honey. Wolfie's just fine. What are you? Your foster parents are dead. Wait, what? He can anthropomorph? <gasps> he can shapeshift! Oh! Oh! That was... That was cool. She turned her arm into like a... A chair leg. At the West Highland Police Station. In 19 Badass. Post that on Instagram. He looks good. Miss Connor. We know you know who this guy is. Oh, so now you believe her. We know this guy's involved. Doesn't that mean anything to you? 
She's damned if she does and damned if she doesn't, okay? There's no winning with y'all. You have to do what I say, huh? That's one of my mission parameters. Prove it. Cool. F you, you little dip. Did you call moi a dip? Ugh. With great power comes great responsibility, kiddo. Ah! 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 Get him off of me! Ah! Now who's the dip? He's clearly never read Spider Man. Now! Jesus, you're gonna kill that guy! Of course, I'm a Terminator. <laughs> you just can't go around killing people! Why? I wanna know why. I'm gonna go get my mom. And I order you to help me. Now that is a fatal flaw in the programming. He should be like, I'm obviously your programmer, but you have authority over me in the past when I'm a child. That kid is just, uh, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't give him that much power. Mm, that's freaky. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. She's been waiting to do that to him. Mm, poison. Okay. What are you gonna do? She's gonna poison you. Just put up your hand and say, I swear I won't kill anyone. You're gonna wish she would kill people. What the hell are you doing? He said he wouldn't kill anyone. He didn't say he wouldn't hurt anyone. He'll live. That's good. Let's all try to remain calm. Ha ha! This makes me so happy. I love seeing women get revenge. It is my favorite plot line. You're already dead, Silver, and everybody dies. You know I believe it, so don't f me! Ha ha! I'm really surprised they don't shoot her. This is so intense. Ooh. I like this a lot better than him coming in and like mass shooting public places. This is a lot cooler. Not his sunglasses. Have some respect. Yay, reunited at last. But how are they so sure that the other one hadn't already got to her? Nice. <laughs> I touched there. Everybody knows in case of emergency, you do not take the elevator, you take the stairs. Oh. Oh. He really can just do anything, can he? How do you kill a metal liquid? You need some kind of chemist there. Out of the car! <laughs> right now! She's not messing around. <laughs> I'm out! Ugh. She's so bad at I love that she's been training until she got locked up, obviously. But she was training for this day. There is nothing cooler than seeing his bullet wounds. That is awesome. It looks like little like mushrooms blooming out. <laughs> Dang, you don't see that every day. Oh. This is a part of me. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool power. Can you even see anything? I see everything. <laughs> I see everything. That's cool. Come here. Yay, kiss your baby. I said it was okay. It's the mother's job to worry. It was stupid. You have to be smarter than that. You almost got yourself killed. But I love you, Mom. I had to get you out of that place. I didn't need your help. I can take care of myself. She's raising a soldier, not a lover boy. What's wrong with your eyes? He's sad because his mom isn't proud of him. Sarah, you need to be a little bit more loving, girl. I get where you're coming from. I do, but you really, you need to just say, I'm so happy to see you, I love you. Can you learn stuff that you haven't been programmed with so you can be, you know, more human? He can learn how to fuck. The more contact I have with humans, the more I learn. So we can learn to love. I ship it. I want to see them as a family unit. He could really be a stable father figure in John's life. And if someone gets upset, you say, chill out. Or you could do combinations. 
Aw, that's so cute that Sean Connor taught him that. Do you need any help? No. See, this is a fatherly teaching moment. You did it! I told you I'm Those toy guns are a little too realistic looking. Come on, teach him how to fix the car. I need to know how Skynet gets built. Who's responsible? The main most directly responsible is Miles Bennett Dyson. I just want to see them kiss so bad. If I was her, I would be swooning. I have never personally driven through a desert like that, and I hope to one day. It looks gorge. Drink. What happens to a Terminator if he drinks alcohol? <laughs> Isn't that a father you would love to have in your life? <laughs> But there was this one guy, he was kind of cool. He taught me engines. He's never had a father figure like you, though. Wish I could have met my real dad. You will. Yeah, I guess. I sent him back through time to 1984. He hasn't even been born yet. That's kind of a mind f isn't it? it? Messes with your head. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, kid. Give me five. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. All right. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. It would never leave him. Those are great glasses. Or say it was too busy to spend time with him. The perfect father figure. That's what I've been saying this whole time. And it would die to protect him. <sighs> Every woman's dream man. Of all the would-be fathers who came and went over the years, this thing, this machine, was the only one who measured up. True. That's probably the best script writing out of this whole franchise right there. That was beautiful. That was poetry. Ugh. I'm swooning! This is a romance movie. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Is this a dream? Yes. Brutal. I'm scared. This is scaring me. I don't like this. Oh. God, that's a terrible nightmare. Ooh, outfit change. Looking good, girl. I wonder if Terminators feel attraction. Mom! Mom, wait! A little too hard, honey. You need to say, mwah, mwah, mwah. Baby, I love you, but I'll be back, okay? Mwah. Mommy loves you. That's what you gotta do. Now the boy feels abandoned. We've created a whole complex. Danny. She's gonna kill Danny. She don't give a Fire. Get down! Oh my God. He's lucky he has such a strong metal desk. Trisha, just take Danny and go. Just run. Run! Oh, Jesus. Ugh. And you better run with your heads down. <sighs> She's... She is really determined. I'm surprised at her. It's all your fault! Motherfucker, it's all your fault! Then do it. Then shoot him in front of his child if you're gonna do it. Ugh. Girl. <sighs> She's so wishy-washy. You can't just commit halfway. You're either doing it or you're not doing it. Ugh. So annoying. <laughs> mm, finally, this is what they need. They've been needing to embrace and let out their feelings and cry. I love you, John. <laughs> she finally said it. <laughs> That's all the boy needs to hear. <sighs> Show me a real. I'm surprised Danny isn't crying. I'm about to cry. I would be freaking out if I saw that too. Uh, the arm, the arm you've been studying, dude. Don't you recognize it? Yes. Gang rolling up. I'm sending visitors in the lab. I need written authorization. <laughs> I insist. He's like, come on now. Just doing my job. No, don't tape him up. Gibbons, come on, man. You can't leave the desk like that. 
Gibbons is a straight A cop, okay? Don't go whining like that. If he's not at his desk, it's not his fault. Uh-oh, silent alarm. They're not in real trouble though, because they got the Terminator with them. Now, are we gonna see Sarah in Terminator or what? Like, we're more than halfway through the movie and I haven't had any steamy romance scenes. No. We go all the way. She likes to go all the way. It's no good. Let me try mine. <laughs> sure, that'll get open. They need some earplugs. I almost forgot about him. It's been so long since we saw him last. Did somebody call the police? I'll take care of the police. Hey, wait, you swore! Trust me. <laughs> Trust you? You're just opening fire. One-handed is crazy. He's just that strong. Miles, your reaction time was too slow. What's she gonna do with that? One handgun against the whole SWAT team? She's gonna distract with it. That's what she's gonna do. Ah! I love him. Can they just bang already? Poor Miles. That makes me so sad seeing him like that. I hate that. It's too much for me. So the elevator saves you from an explosion like that. <laughs> I guess. Uh-oh, here he is. Mr. Liquid Metal. Do Terminators have reproductive organs? Okay, dude. That's cool. To yourself. It's so reflective and shiny. Get out. Yeah. I could not be doing all that with my hair down. I'd need a hair tie. It's just a leg wound. Damn. You are right. Never ask a Terminator if they're all right. Liquid nitrogen? It's a bad sign. Drive a minute. Where the hell are you going? The boy doesn't know how to drive. You haven't taught him that yet. What's that gonna do in a liquid metal? I am very curious how they're gonna kill this thing. They're screwed. It's gonna explode the whole factory. You can't breathe in all that nitrogen, y'all. Where's your mask? Ew! He's freezing from it! Like when the Tin Man got all rusty and he couldn't move. <laughs> Do they really have big liquid nitrogen trucks like that? I've never seen that on the highway before. Now shatter him with a hammer! Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> he said it! That was awesome. Can I keep a shard to make jewelry out of? Oh my god. He should keep a shard? to take to a jeweler to set into an engagement ring so he can propose to Sarah. No, not the liquid metal. Great. That is so cool looking. Sells meat sells. What are they supposed to do now? Why can't um, Mr. Terminator just pick her up and hold her bridal style? You know he can lift her. Oh my God, he looks so good. That is a real man right there. Just kidding, he's a Terminator. More robot versus robot. <laughs> that was so cool. Whoa. Trapped him. Oh, not the factory again. It always ends with the factory. I would be afraid of sending my son into the machine. Call to John. <laughs> Never. Call to John now. No, she'd rather die. Oh. 
There's no winning with this guy. What is that thing? What kind of a factory is this? Oh! Oh! Ew! I don't like that. This is very upsetting to me. He hit his circuit board. What's gonna happen next? I literally have no idea. I don't know how you kill this thing. I thought the nitrogen would be it. Okay, our future hero is gonna be the hero. Alternate power. Ooh, he has a backup generator. Smart. John Kirk. No, that's just the liquid T-1000 Terminator imitating her voice, John. You know better than that. You know, you saw the Terminator do it right in front of your eyes. Imitation. Get out of the way, John. Shoot! Why was he telling her to, like, call for John when he could have just done that all along? <laughs> Fall into the magma lava pit. Also, why does this factory have a magma lava pit? I don't know. But he's about to get cast in metal. <sighs> Too bad. She's gonna kill you. <gasps> Yay! Our hero! Too bad he can't fuck. Oh. Now, you know what that makes me think of is the thing. Ew. That was really cool. Whatever, boo-hoo. Creepy how he's changing shapes like that. Dad, are you okay? There's one more chip. <gasps> he wants to be sacrificed. You must lower me into the steel. Just push him. I hate this. Mm. Wow, it just cut right to the credits. I feel emotional at this ending. I really, really do. I'm sad. And I know that there's like a bunch of other Terminator movies and I'm pretty positive Arnold Schwarzenegger has got to be in those other ones. So he comes back. I know he does, but it's so sad. It's so sad that he died. And I really wanted to see an arc of him understanding human emotions more. Even though he's a robot, they had that whole conversation about how he's an ever-learning computer. You can learn new things. I thought we would have a whole arc about how he would, like, learn human emotions. Especially whenever John was explaining why humans cry, and Mr. Terminator was teaching him how to fix a car. I thought he would learn how to be a father, and I thought there would be a blooming romance between he and Sarah. I don't even know if Terminators, like, have reproductive organs, okay? Like, I don't even know if he can do that. But if he can't, that's, like, wasted potential, honestly. And I was really waiting for that romance scene. Because <laughs> the last movie, and of course, it was the, the moment that created this child that's supposed to be the future savior of our world. So they had to include it. But the last movie did give us a extra long romance scene with Sarah and her baby daddy. Not that she's a slut or anything, but I wanted to see her make love to this Terminator because he was stepping up into that fatherly role. I felt the chemistry. Arnold Schwarzenegger is so sexy. So I just feel like they really missed out on giving us that romance scene. They didn't even show his butt this movie, so that really disappoints me. Takes off a whole bunch of points for me. But other than those major, major letdowns, this was a great sequel. Everything you want out of a sequel. It had a whole bunch of action. It expanded the world a little bit. I could have used some more flashbacks to the future. The only time we really got to see the future was in the very beginning of this movie. I am surprised Sarah survived two movies in a row. It's not often we get to see that. I guess she's a true final girl for this franchise. The liquid metal was interesting. That gave me a, a big sense of doom because I, I did not know how you kill that sort of thing. 
Um, another thing that I'm missing is seeing the Terminator down in his skeleton metal form. Of course, we got to see that in the last movie. Maybe the um, bromance scene that I'm missing could have included Sarah and the Terminator stripped down to his robot skeleton. That would be interesting. <laughs> I don't know. It was a great movie. It's just missing a lot of the romance that we had in the last movie. But this movie was just action-packed. It was action scene after action scene. Speaking of action scenes, nobody does it better than Mr. Cameron, okay? He really stepped it up from the last movie, especially with um, the new Terminator being able to shapeshift and turn his arms into weapons. That was really cool. And it brought a lot of interesting dynamics um, into action scenes. It's not just like your typical man-on-man -man fight because each man is a robot and one of them can change, change forms and turn into different weapons. And it's kind of like fighting Flubber, you know? I really loved the plot line about them trying to prevent the future from ever happening, how they got involved with Mr. Dyson. That gave us our big emotional arc. I was expecting the sadness to come from Sarah dying and her son watching that happen, but really a lot of the sadness came from seeing the Dyson father die. That was super sad. I almost teared up and cried during that scene. And then, of course, seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger sacrifice himself in the end. That is so tragic, but less tragic because he doesn't have a whole family and you know he doesn't feel feelings. But that was sad. I love a movie that has it all. You know, it has the action. I want a movie that has some romance. And I want a movie that makes me feel something. So this movie, it checked two out of the three boxes. The last Terminator movie, I would probably give it a six out of 10 range. This movie steps it up. I would rate it eight out of 10 stars. Off the top of my head, off of my first time watching it. These are just my thoughts. Of course, you know, your thoughts and feelings about a movie develop the more times you see it and the longer you have to think of it. So I would love to hear what you guys think about this movie. I know you guys all think so highly, so hopefully I didn't offend anybody by criticizing it. Because again, it was a great movie. I had a wonderful time watching it. It was a blast. I was blown away. Even in 2024, where there's so many modern sci-fi movies like this with robots and stuff, this movie holds up. It does. Anyways, I want this to be an open conversation between all of us. So what do you think about this movie compared to the last one? Is this a better movie? What do you guys think? Let me know in my comments. And as always, it's the time for me to say how much I love my Patreon supporters. They really support my channel. They're the whole reason why I'm able to rent these movies to watch for you guys. I can't thank them enough. If you aren't already, please consider checking out my Patreon. They get early access to my regular scheduled content as well as bonus content. It's a great way to support me if you care about my channel. So thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love you guys. That's the end of this video. It's getting late for me. So until next time, Camcorder Cameron signing out.